Hello everyone, my name is Hazel Reed and I'm the president of the Middle School Interact Club. I wanted to start off today by saying thank you for viewing our Veterans Day tribute video. We are so sad not to be able to meet in person to thank all our local veterans. Please know they do not go unnoticed. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bow your hands as I lead us in prayer. Father, we thank you for another glorious day in, in our world. We thank you for blessing us with this amazing country. Thank you for blessing us with those that have sacrificed so much to give us freedom and peace. Father, we uh, ask that you give those that have served our country encouragement, strength, and guidance through any kind of trouble they go through. Father, in your gracious name I pray. Amen. I am Gracie Duncan. Why do we observe Veterans Day? Veterans Day is held in honor of all those who served in the United States Armed Forces. This is different from Memorial Day, which honors those who died while serving. Veterans Day is a U.S. federal holiday that honors American veterans of all wars, whether or not they currently serve, and gives us the opportunity to show our gratitude for the sacrifices they made to protect our freedoms. Veterans Day lands on the same day every year, November 11th. That's because it actually started out as another holiday known as Armistice Day. Armistice Day con commemorated the day in 1918 when Germany and the Allied nations signed a temporary truce that became the symbolic yet unof unofficial end of World War I. The truce was signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For this reason, Armistice Day was observed by many countries on or close to November 11th. In fact, this day was so important that the U.S. government declared it a legal federal holiday in 1938, dedicated to the cause of world peace, and to be hereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. In addition to its focus on peace and goodwill, it was also meant to be a day of gratitude for the sacrifices made by the veterans of that war. In 1954, the U.S. government legally changed the name of Armistice Day to Veterans Day in an effort to honor the veterans of all wars including those of World War II and the Korean War, and not just those of World War I. A veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, is someone who, at one point in life, 
wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount of up to and including his life. That is honor. And there are many people in this country today who just don't understand that fact. and honor those who have sacrificed so much for our country. This day is especially important to me because two of my great-grandfathers have served in the military. One of my great-grandfathers served in the Army and the other in the Air Force and National Guard. My great-grandfather who served in the Army was deployed to fight during World War II. My great-grandfather that served in the Air Force and National Guard was stationed in different states around the United States. I have also had the opportunity to visit our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., twice. While I was there, I was able to visit memorials to honor those who have served in the armed forces. These visits were very humbling, and each time it reminded me of how very lucky I am to live in a country where so many men and women are willing to serve and protect the freedoms that Americans often take for granted. As President Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream, it must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. In conclusion, I would like to thank all those who have served and protected the freedoms for my generation and those to come. For me, Veterans Day is a day where we honor the veterans who have served our country. They make many sacrifices and are leaving what they know and love to defend you, our country, and our freedom. My aunt's father was a veteran and he served in the Army. He fought in World War II and was a prison guard during the Nuremberg, Germany, Nazi trials. About a month before he passed away, he showed us pictures about the trials. He also told us stories about the trials. At the end of his funeral, they were going to do the 21-gun salute, but could not because of COVID-19 virus. So instead, a soldier played the song Taps on the Trumpet. After he was finished playing, they floated an American flag and gave it to my aunt. I will never forget the way I felt at that moment. I will cherish it forever. I am thankful for my aunt's father and all of those who have served for our country. Veterans Day is a time to honor those who have served for defending our country. I am proud of the many veterans in my family, including my dad, grandfather, great-grandfather, and uncles. In our home, our we never hide our patriotism, and we are proud Americans. We are appreciative of the men and women that selflessly fought for and defended our freedoms. We hope to honor them not only on Veterans Day, but always. We appreciate their sacrifices as they are willing to give their all to protect our great nation. Many were separated from their friends, family, and loved ones by thousands of miles, all while missing important events and milestones at home. I cannot recall very much about my dad's time in the military as I was too young to remember the details of events such as deployments to Iraq, or the lengthy periods of times we may not have heard from him. However, no matter how old I become or how far away I am from my dad, I will always remember the glisten in his eyes as he stands so straight and tall for the national anthem, his laughter until tears, sharing stories about his army brothers, and the way he shows respect and gratitude for those serving before, after, and beside him. Thank you to all veterans, past and present, for your many sacrifices while protecting our country and defending our freedom. And thank you, Dad, not only giving we're not only fighting for our country, but also for showing me how to love, honor, and respect those who have served. Come to set, please.
Thank you for your sacrifice. You gave your strength, your youth, and your time. You did a job, not many will. You deserved our respect, and you still do. Though you didn't give your life, you were a willing soul. Only your brothers and sisters in combat, your suffering, truly know. We love that you are here with us and honor who you are. A grateful nation appreciates every single scar. That wrote upon a slate of you, though you are very brave, you came back to us a hero, you are not quite the same. For you have learned to bear the weight of defending freedom's call, but you did come back, and that is what we give thanks for most of all. May God bless all of America's veterans. Thank you. 